Welcome to the screencast to take a look at using the Desmos Graphing Calculator to investigate limits using uh, graphs and tables. So let's start by reminding ourselves of the definition of a limit, uh, or at least what we mean by this. And so we say that the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l, if f of x can be made as close as we like to l, l is a real number, by taking x sufficiently close but not equal to the real number a. And this is going to be key because we're going to see uh, in this screencast some examples where taking it exactly equal to a makes the function f undefined perhaps. So let's start by taking a look at this example. So we have the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 all divided by the quantity x minus 2. Now the first thing you'll notice is this is undefined at x equals 2. because we would be dividing by zero, and that doesn't make sense. So the uh, expression there is undefined, and so this raises the question of what, from noticing that, does that tell us about the limit? Does it tell us the limit definitely does not, does exist? Does it tell us the limit definitely does not exist? Or do we not have enough information? Pause the video and think about that for a minute, and then after you've made a decision, hit play again on the video. All right, so it turns out that really, right, we don't ever actually, when uh, looking at a limit, let x be the number a, in this case a equals 2, in our definition of the limit. So it doesn't matter that this expression is undefined at um, a equals 2. So let's take a look at... Uh, how we can plot this. So I'm going to come over here to the Desmos graphing calculator and I need to get a peek at what my function is again. And so I'm going to plot in here and I'm going to say I want to see x cubed and I just did um, the caret key, shift 6, to get that. But you could also do 2x and then hit this a squared button to get a squared minus x plus 2, and if I highlight the whole thing and just press slash on the keyboard, it gives me a nice fraction, and then my denominator is x minus 2. And so there's a graph of that, and we're looking at the limit as x equal, x approaches 2, but is not actually equal to 2. So we can come here and we can do zoom in, and we look and we say, okay, so x approaches 2, uh, coming in from smaller values of x, it looks like, and let's trace along the curve as we get closer and closer. Looks like, oh, look, it's even undefined there, and it shows us an open dot, like we would usually draw the graph of something where it is undefined. But we come in, and we're getting really close to 3, and then we're undefined. And then if we look and say, let's let x approach 2 from larger values, again, we're getting closer and closer to 3, and yep, looks like we're getting very close to 3, and then we hit our undefined again. And you can keep zooming in on that if you want to, and it looks very much like that graph goes right through there. And so that would be enough for our purposes right now to say that that limit is equal to, uh, two, uh, equal to 3. So let's... Uh, come back here, and we'll just make a note, equals 3 based on the graph. Okay, well now let's take something a little bit more complicated. So this is what we call a piecewise function. Uh, you'd be here because we have two parts. We have um, a definition for what happens when x is less equal 1, and we have another rule that defines how to calculate g of x when x is greater than 1. And so we can do this in Desmos pretty nicely. Let me just, let me save that for later. We won't need it, but we'll turn it off. And so now I want x minus 2. And the way I say only do that for x equals uh, less equal 1 is I put in curly braces, I type x, and I just did less than, and then the equal to key on the keyboard, it gave me the nice less equal to, and then 1, let's just zoom to the default, okay, and then we need another piece, we need x squared 
plus 1, and we need that for x greater than 1. All right, let me get the keyboard out of the way. Okay, now here we have a bit of a problem because g of x, as x comes in from down here, g of x is approaching minus 1, but as we come in from up here, notice that g of x is approaching positive 2. And notice we get to 1, and this, the green part, is undefined there. But the blue and the green together are what we call g of x, and that's defined to be minus 1 down here. So we would say that this limit does not exist Because the left, when we look at it from the left and we look at it from the right, we find different values. And that's a problem. It means that our limit doesn't exist. Okay, so now what can we say about this limit? Limit is x approaches 0 of 2 to the x minus 1 all over x. Again, undefined at x equals 0. Right, so we've got to think about that. So what I'd like you to do is go plot this on a, a graphing tool, uh, Desmos or um, graphing app for your phone or your favorite graphing calculator and pause the video and see what do you think of these answer choices is true about this limit. Okay, well now let's go uh, take a look and see what we can see uh, on our graph. And so we'll come over here and I'm just going to click these axes to get rid of the parts we don't need anymore. And now I want 2 to the x minus 1, highlight all of it, all over x. Okay, so now we'll just zoom in a little bit here and we'll see, okay, well, everything looks good and we're coming in here, cruising along, and it looks like, okay, well, of the choices I gave you a moment ago, it looks like it's between 0 and 1, but, oh look, undefined, but what is that exact value? Well, it's a little hard to tell. So um, let's see if we can pick up a trend uh, by using a table. So I'm going to use the add item here and make a table. And I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to call this function f of x equals. So here I want x and I want f of x. And now I want the limit as x approaches 0. So I'm going to want some things on either side, so like minus 0.5, I'll just hit the enter key, minus 0.1, minus 0.01, minus 0.001, let's do 0.001, 0.01, 0.1, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001, 0.001